Samra. The increasing number of migrants and refugees arriving in Europe places new demands on European education systems for social, ecological and environmental sustainability causes. Somra project offers an innovative approach for tackling two major challenges of the 21st century, namely climate change and refugee crisis. This project looks into three intellectual outputs and we have uh, intellectual output one, which is a general report of how is the situation of uh, migration, asylum seeking in the European countries and especially in the countries where the partners of the, uh, of the project. Uh, so we look into the system in these countries that how uh, an NGO could be established, what are the requirements and uh, what are the restrictions for these groups that we are looking into. To foster environmental skills as well as green entrepreneurship and civic skills of migrants, refugees and asylum seekers, Sombra partners developed training activities combining face-to-face -face classes and autonomous online learning activities. The city of Graz in Austria welcomed the partners of the Sombra project to discuss and to test the training activities proposals. We all came here together these days for the LTTA, so-called LTTA, which is the learning, teaching and training activity in an, in an Erasmus Plus project. In our case, we called it the Somra induction training. And the, the whole purpose of this is that all our project partners, they get to know a good overview of the project and especially of uh, our third intellectual output, which is the Somra uh, green entrepreneurship training. A training program developed by Rural Up that includes guidelines for trainers on how to deliver training and guide phases of self-directed learning. We were working with local stakeholders to design a training program that um, refugees, migrants and asylum seekers would find, I suppose, useful and accessible so that they could improve their knowledge in relation to um, the green economy, but also how they could introduce new um, lifestyle choices around sustainability. And we also then tried to provide opportunities through the training that they could get involved in local NGOs and they could feel part of a new community and we tried very much to match or at least um, create opportunities locally where they could feel involved and the environment was a great way to do that because everybody's interested in where they live and their local community so you didn't really necessarily have to have a lot of prior knowledge so the training program is giving you some skills but also um, showing you what's possible and giving you opportunities to get involved. The shape of some training contents had inputs from local groups. We've been working with a local group um, who have helped us shape some of the content that we've been working with. Um, so our commitment to them at the start was that if they helped us to identify the needs that we would, when the training was ready, we'd go back and deliver the training. So we have a group of 10 people um, and over the summer and into early September, we will deliver the training with them face to face. A series of pilot testing events were performed by Somra partners, focus a diverse group of people that reflects national and regional particularities. One of the multiplier events in which the partners of Somra project were present took place in the city of Edinburgh with many environmentally friendly activities such as upcycling workshops and repair cafes, and is attended by persons of all backgrounds and ages in the regional area. This event has been organized as part of our multiplier event for the For Sombra project, and we try to fit this within the refugee festival in Scotland because we are focusing on refugees and their involvement with the environmental activities. So we are hoping that refugees come and visit us, see the different stalls, how we do upcycling craft, 
uh, and how we, what we have made during different workshops. An initiative that had the participation of volunteers, migrants and asylum seekers. For some, it was the first time they were present at an event of this type. Which is celebrating refugees through a refugee festival in Scotland. It's a really fun event. It's my first time volunteering with LREC and I've been having a really good experience so far. We've just been setting up some stalls, you know, promoting the refugee crisis and what we're doing to help them, as well as demonstrate how we're trying to reduce our carbon footprint in the UK through some of the initiatives that we're taking part in. But for others, participation in an event of this nature is not a first. I've been volunteering with Elray different periods. And last year, I helped with the food program for about 10 months. Making these events known to refugees, migrants and asylum seekers is, in the opinion of some participants, a decisive factor for greater involvement in the community. Awareness is very important, so I think that this event is really good for different communities to be aware of the help provided in Edinburgh for refugees. For those who are far from their countries of origin, it is comforting to feel that they are contributing supporting structures that welcome and help other migrants, refugees and asylum seekers. It's a Majid Mokhari, I am a refugee from Iran. In the first place, I am an artist, a musician. و من دیدم اینجا مردم خیلی وسیلهشون رو که خب از دید من به درد میخوره ولی از دیده خودشون به درد نمیخوره اینا رو به صورت های مختلف نشستم تو ذهنم طراحی کردم و درست کردم باشون من میتونم توی همچین گرد همایی هایی این کار رو انجام بدم کما اینکه امروزم چند تا هنرجو من داشتم که یاد گرفتن چجوری این سگا رو درست بکنن و پاو عکس درست بکنن با روزنامه و با پارچه‌ای که مردم می‌ریزن دور چجوری یه چیزایی درست بکنن که به دردشون بزنه. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for your guidance. Remember your Банді, я з 24 квітня. Я тут як український біженець. Шотландія прихистила мене, гостинно захистила. Завдяки моїм спонсорам я по програмі «Дома для українців». І тут, на цьому фестивалі, я як волонтер допомагаю в організації. І взагалі в цій організації я працюю як волонтер. Допомагаю людям, і, в тому числі українцям, відчувати себе добре і комфортно в цій гостинній країні. It is very important to enable these main target groups to become true factors of change that influence positive environmental habits that are first established on a local and regional level and eventually even beyond the borders of the EU. An idea shared by some of the participants. You know, climate is important to everyone, you know, not just in Edinburgh, but globally. Um, and I think, you know, some of, the, some of the activities we've seen has been really, you know, interesting to me to see some things that have been made out of materials that I would never have thought of, paper, you know, just as a, a simple one there, uh, into little bags and stuff like that. So I think it just shows the degree and what we can do uh, once everyone puts their mind to it. An idea that is reinforced by some partners. On local level, I think it's important because in Cyprus we don't have this. We don't have second hand shops and it's a great opportunity for refugees to, you know, to find their, maybe, they're not their voice, but find something to do in Cyprus that is not there now. This event, within the scope of the Summer Project, clearly achieved its main objectives. We are very pleased with the presence of refugees. 
uh, migrants with their interest in this uh, in the information we are offering to them and yeah we are really happy and it's a lovely nice day in Scotland as well so yeah that's uh, we are very pleased and happy about this yeah he said the attendance is quite good it's uh, just like an air beyond uh, through the event but yeah we are uh, achieving our target yeah the summer project involved almost 300 participants of different nationalities and produced a set of very useful tools for migrants, refugees and asylum seekers, such as holistic study reports, visual handbook and green entrepreneurship training to helping them to become a green entrepreneur and NGO founder or member. Yeah. All resources are available online at www.sumra.eu.